everyone, um, it's Liam again, back with another video. I'm just going to show you uh, a couple of hidden features on the BMW 1140i. Um, it's not exclusive to the M140i, I think it's uh, on any one series really. So. Uh... <laughs> Just on the stereo system, uh, I, I don't know if it's the same if you haven't got the Pro Nav. Um, we've got the Pro Nav here, so I'll show you. So these buttons here are all touch sensitive, which I didn't know when I first got the car. But if you hover over them, you'll see at the top of the screen there. These buttons come up, and the, just with the uh, sensitivity of my finger on there, I can hover through. So obviously, I've got some on a sign there. And use them for radio stations, contacts, um, different sort of menu settings I believe. It's quite a cool feature which I didn't know about. I can show you how it works currently on Capital Yorkshire. So if I go along and just scroll to number four, that's on a sign. If I press and hold it down. And then assign number four to Capital Yorkshire. As you can see just there thing I'm going to show you um, obviously you've got your charging point here Pretty standard most cars but you've also got one I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's sort of just under there uh, which is quite handy and then I'll show you another one shut my door before she takes it off And then I think there's another one just under there as well in the boot. Quite handy. So another one for you. Just open it. So I've got the engine running currently. Yeah, look at the state of that. Need to clean it. Engine currently running. Got a flat tire apparently as well. It's gonna cost me a fortune. Um engine running. If I shut the door off the key can actually lock it while it's still running obviously I wouldn't advise it because I think you can still smash window jump in and, and steal it but um, just to show you it, it should do a beep so you know not that you wouldn't really know if you'd left your engine on but I thought I'd show you it's pretty cool there we go and then just open it back up so I'll just show you it's all locked so, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Just to show you another thing, uh, I need to put my camera down because I've only got one. Um, which I use my phone. I'm going to put, put my camera down next to the exhaust and I'm going to just rev it. First, I'm going to rev it in comfort mode. Uh, it's quite quiet, quite understated. Uh, you won't really know that it was a three litre engine. And then I'll whack it into sport and rev it again, and you'll see the difference. This next one, um, I'm pretty sure everyone will know it already. In fact, you may know most of these that I'm showing you. In that case, it's been pretty much a boring video for you, but um, I'll just show you. You can use the key to open all the windows. So obviously this is five door, so I can do all of them. Um, I'll just show you that now. So press the key and just hold the open unlock button. And just hold it down. All the windows come down. And the same, press an old lock and they'll go back up. Really good, um, especially if you're going to a track day, something like that, is uh, being able to change your brake pads really quickly. So if you look down here, hard to tell really, but if you look in there, there's two pins that you can actually take out. Um, they go through, 
through the brake, brake pad there and then you can just slide them out the back of here back of the caliper it's really quick really easy um, just means you can change your brake pads over quick on I think that's really good I think it's only on the sort of M Sport performance brakes so that you can do that on I'll show you the front one as well a bit easy to show you on this one see how there's a hole in the back there just slide them straight out of there inside the car now um, it's really hot outside so I'm grateful to be in here got the aircon on um, another useful feature which I think is really good is um, the BMW connected drive app which you can get on your phone uh, I didn't know about this until after I bought it um, but there's loads of cool features you can use so uh, we'll get into that and I'll show you a bit of what that's about so basically uh, when you got your car and you uh, you download the app you basically need to get your VIN number um, input the number also connected to the car um, and it works wherever you are so you don't have to be a certain distance from the car or anything like that uh, you can be sat at home and your car could be miles away uh, and you can do really cool features um, so this is telling me that my tyre pressure is low to be honest I think I've got a nail or something in it so critical I'll just have a quick look at that it won't tell me what PSI I've got in there but anyway it's low I need to sort that out so anyway yeah it'll open up it'll look like this uh, which is quite cool it, exactly the same car as what mine is the five door Melbourne red um, non shadow I think it's a good feature it could be could have just stuck any old one series on there or um, so it'll tell you your fuel level I've got 13 litres 104 miles of fuel in um, it'll you can lock it unlock it so lock and then it sends it to it That's... one thing I have found it does take a little while to send the message whether that's my connectivity or my Wi-Fi when I'm at home I don't really know but you probably just heard it a lot there so that's how long it took probably about five to ten seconds I'd say for it to send the message through um, you've got unlock you've got you can flash your lights you can put your ventilation on so you can plan a time when you want your ventilation to start so if you leave for work every day at the same time or something like that you can you can plan that in just quite handy uh, I've just got the free version but I think you can download like a, a premium package or extra features if you pay monthly but I'm not doing that um, so this will tell me messages vehicle finder so if unfortunately your car ever does get stolen and whoever stole it is not clued up enough to turn off the uh, the tracking system uh, you can find exactly where you are on the map which is quite cool um, you can also so when we're on the map say where you want to go so uh, just click McDonald's for example and then you can send the directions straight through to your car and it'll uh, transmit the map data straight onto your screen in the car I don't really know. I'll have to work that one out and get back to you on that one doesn't seem to be sending but anyway uh, and these are all just other bits and bobs trying to get you to buy stuff direct from BMW it's pretty cool the one I'm going to show you guys um, is the voice assist which is actually I think it works quite well well it certainly does uh, in my car anyway I've heard mixed reviews on it but I'll just show you how that works so you watch it'll let me down now so you press and press this button and it'll pop up navigate to Lincoln Lincoln say yes 
or select another entry from the list. Yes. Lincoln was selected. Route guidance has been started. There you go. So it does work quite well, I think. Uh, you have got to speak quite clearly. Um, so there we are, loading, loading up now. I personally think this iDrive drive system is fantastic. Um, pretty much everything about it, if you've got the Pro Nav. I don't know about um, the sort of standard one, or what the differences are. Um, maybe I can do a video on that, but we'll see. And then you've got the little direction arrows down there just to help you out a bit. So yeah, another good feature. Uh, it works for contacts and, and bits and pieces, um, turning on certain things in the car. So uh, yeah, I think it's a decent thing. I think to show you is uh, so if you pop into the the main menu of the I Drive and then into My Vehicle, select down to Technology in Action, select that, pop down to Sports Displays. So they're on. I think they look quite nice, quite cool. Um, gives a bit more of a sportier appearance. There's the missus and, and Eva coming back from school. Um, another cool thing with this is if your car's been uh, modified or had a, a stage one, stage two map, anything like that, um, you can actually tell by loading up these sports displays. So obviously a lot of people remap a car and then try and sell it as standard um, just to try and entice more buyers really. Um, not always but sometimes. Obviously, if you've never driven an M140i, you might not really know if it's been tuned or not, um, if you've never driven anything like it before. So, these sports displays, if your car's completely standard, in the power, the horsepower section on the left-hand side there, it should only go up to 400 horsepower. Now, if they've been modified, I do know that this changes, um, and, and I've seen one that, like, 460, I believe that had a a stage one remap on it uh, and even higher so just a, another little tip for you to look out for if you are thinking of buying one of these um, look out for that have a look and uh, it'll give you an indication if it's been uh, remapped or anything like that one for you um, there's like a secret hidden menu inside the sort of cluster here which I'm about to show you um, you can do like a little test on your vehicle and bits and pieces uh, I'll, I'll go through with you so you need to press your um, ignition just turn your ignition on not the engine and then the sort of button here press and hold that if you want to hold it for about 15 seconds and um, it'll bring up a little menu first like a reset menu it'll bring up this one first um, it's like a reset for your brake pads there you go so we're into the secret little menu now. Just zoom in on there for you. Um, so a few little bits that you find that you can do. You can do a test. So just so you sort of press it to scroll through the menu and then press and hold it to go into the one that you want to select. Press and hold that. So it'll uh, start system test and then we just want to press it when it's on there. All sorts of lights and things happen um, with your dials there. I think that's quite cool. Apparently, it checks all your electrics and, and makes sure everything's working properly. Um, so, I've got no no faults there. So that's all good. Um, so, I press a note to come out of that start roller. I don't really know what that one is. Um, Unlock. Just press and hold that and see what happens. Ah, so code. I think for this you need the last five of your VIN. So, uh, just jump out quickly. I think you add all the, the last five numbers of your VIN, add them up, and then that's your code that you need to put in. Um, Should be 33 if my maths is correct. Let's 
giant. So, code. Just need to go up until it says 33. And then, I think we press and hold. It should be. So, there we go. So, we can unlock things like consumption, range, tell you how much is in the tank, uh, temperature, system voltage, acoustics, all sorts of stuff. Um, software reset. So yeah, um, bits and pieces, you can, you can mess around with them if you want to. I think pretty much all them are accessed on my iDrive anyway or my connected drive app so there's not really a massive benefit to it but it's it's somewhat cool anyway so obviously this is your cruise control um sort of instrument panel bit here um obviously it's going to be difficult for me because i've only got a mobile phone to film on i haven't got any other equipment at the minute but if you so when you've got your cruise control on if you press up on here, it'll give you one mile an hour extra um, and it'll just increase in increments of one. If you actually press it twice, so there's like a, a first press and then you can press it a bit further, if you can see it there, that'll then increase your speed by five mile an hour instead of one, um, which I think is quite good. And you can press and hold it and it'll go up in increments. Um, just a bit quicker so uh, I found that quite quite decent hey guys quite uh, just a few features uh, hopefully at least one of them you didn't know about and and there's been some meaningful content in the video for you um, if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more stuff uh, I've got things in the pipeline coming some more mods etc for me m140 uh, drop us a like be sure to subscribe uh, and drop us a comment in the uh, comment section below and tell me what you want to see all right nice one see you